Hello everyone, I'm Natalie from Total Pilates. Thank you for joining me for this Saturday morning workout. Now, I specialize in teaching women during menopause, during midlife and beyond. And today's routine is a bone safe routine, which means that if you have osteopenia, or osteoporosis, all the exercises here are safe for you to do. Now, this routine is also ideal if you have arthritis as well. It's a nice steady paced class, and we're looking at um, keeping the mobility in the joints. It's easy on the joints, no stress goes through the joints, and we are trying to improve the mobility mainly through the hips and the shoulders today. So we get that movement going, and it keeps you nice and supple. So I hope that you'll take part and that you'll enjoy the routine. But before you start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you're reminded of next week's Saturday morning session. Okay, we're gonna start with chalk circle and then we'll do that hand slide in a minute, okay? So let's make sure we're nicely set up. You want the shoulders down, remember in side lying, we want to try and create a bit of space underneath the neck there, okay? The knees are bent, the feet are in line with the spine. You want to put that belt on. And as you tighten that belt, get that sense of lifting the waist out of the mat. Okay, chalk circle. That means we're just going to draw a nice big circle with that top on. So when you're ready, just breathing normally, you're going to send the, the hand up and overhead and you're going to circle it all the way around. Now I'm looking at my hand. As I draw that big circle, I'm just going to keep looking at it. When the hands come together, you'll change direction. You'll go back the other way. So on this one, you can turn your head. You can open out the shoulders. That's fine. But make sure that the pelvis stays nice and still. Okay, so you don't want the pelvis to roll on this one. Off we go again. Another circle around. So you can make that circle as big as you can. Okay, get as much movement through the shoulder joint as possible, but don't force it. You want to work within your own range of movements. Here we go. Last one. And we go. Arms come back together. And then we can rest those arms down. Okay, so we've still got that nice setup. Shoulders down, belt is on. So that hand slide that I just showed you a second ago, we're going to do that. We're going to do one hand slide and we're going to go into our arm opening. So we're going to put the two exercises together. So we're going to take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you're going to slide that top hand forward as far as you can. And then breathing in, you'll bring the hands back together. Breathing out, we go into our arm opening. So again, turn the head, follow the hand, open out as much as you can. Hold it for a breath in. And then breathing really out, the arms come back together. Take a breath in to prepare, and off we go again. Breathing out, we reach the top hand forwards. And then we breathe in, and the hands come back together. Breathing out, we go back into our arm opening, keeping the pelvis nice and still, opening out as much as you can. And then breathing out, the arms come back together. Take a breath in to prepare before we set off again. Here we go, breathing out. Reach the arm forward. And then bring them back together. Into our arm opening. Nice stretch through the chest. And then we bring the arms back. Should we just do that one more time, a little sequence? So here we go, breathing out. We reach the arm forward across the floor. And then bring them back to center. We breathe out. We open out the arm. Turn the head, follow the hand. Hold it out there for a breath in. And breathing out, the arms come back together. Wonderful. Okay, let's rest the arms there. So we'll um, give the arms a little rest. We'll work the legs then this time, shall we? Just make sure before you start working the legs that you've still got that belt on, okay? We're going to do our hip extension this time. So we're going to float the top leg up, and I think we'll start with the leg out straight at hip height, okay? So you want to make sure you're in a nice straight line, ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder, perfectly straight. Okay, so keeping that nice stillness through the center of the body now, I want you to bring your knee into the chest nice and close. And then as you breathe out, you're going to straighten out the leg again. 
Then we do it again. So we breathe in, we bring the knee in towards the chest, and then breathing out, you straighten it out again. That's it. So when you bring the knee in, you can bring it in as close as you want to, okay? But make sure that you haven't got a, a lot of movement through the, the center of the body. There will be a little bit because the pelvis has got to move. But you don't want you don't want excessive movement through the center of the body. So try and think about keeping it as still as you can. But don't worry if there is a little bit of movement because there, there will be. That's it. Wonderful. Knee comes in again, and then breathe out as we straighten it out. One more time. We bring the knee in and straight out, and we're going to leave it out there. Can we hold it out there? Keep it nice and straight. And then can you do some little leg circles, just small ones? That's it. And then, can you feel it in the hip? I can just start to feel it in my hip now a little bit. Those muscles are starting to work. Okay. Change direction. So nice and steady, nice and controlled. Not rushing it. That's it. Wonderful. Okay. Let's bring that leg up into our rest position. Just rest it down there for a second. Okay. Now. We're going to go back to our hip extension again, but we're going to add in the arm this time, okay? So, um, shall I show you the arm before we start, okay? So we're starting with the leg out, okay? We've got the top arm is just floating in front. So when the knee comes to the chest, you swing the arm down, and then when you straighten the leg, you bring it back to its starting position, okay? So that's what we're gonna do with that top arm this time, okay? So let's bring the legs back together, make sure the belt is on, shoulders down, we're going to float the top leg up and straighten it out, we're going to float the top arm up as well. Okay, so we're going to breathe in as the knee comes in and we swing the arm away, breathe out as you straighten the leg and the arm returns. And again, so breathe in as the knee comes in and breathe out to lengthen, that's it. Now when that leg goes away, get it as straight as you can, don't finish with the knee bent. Fully straighten that leg. That's it. And just make sure that that leg is still about hip height. Don't let it sink down to the floor. That's it. Breathe out to lengthen. Let's do a couple more. Bring it in and take it out to lengthen. Last one. Bring it in. Take it out to lengthen. And think we'll bring that leg up into that rest position again. Got one more. One more for the legs. Okay, so let's bring the legs back together for a second. We're going to do our lift and lower, okay, but we're going to add in the arm. So, shall I show you what we're going to do? We're going to start here. So, you've got one arm overhead, one leg is out straight. You lift the leg and you lift the arm at the same time, okay? So, we're going to do a few of those this time, okay? So, make sure the belt is on. I think we'll do the sort the arm out first, shall we? So, the arm goes overhead. Then we're going to float the leg up and lengthen it out. Keep that belt on. Here we go. We're going to breathe out. We're going to do a lift and a lower. And again, breathe out, lift and lower. Nice straight leg. Don't let the knee bend. That's it. So feel like you're lengthening out through the whole of the body. Okay. When the leg is out straight and the arms overhead, feel like you're lengthening out through the body. You've got the belt on really well. You feel nice and strong. Here we go, last one. That's it, and then we'll bring the arms together. Bring the leg back up into that rest position. Wonderful. I think we might um, change position before we do the other side now, okay? So we'll bring the legs back together. Push yourself up for a second, okay? Shall we come face down for a minute? What do we need for this? Just a towel. We're going to start with the dart. Okay. So you're going to roll your towel to support your head. Okay. So we all know the dart, don't we? Okay. So we'll come down to our dart position. Okay. So you've got your head nice and supported. The legs are together. The arms are down by the side of us. Okay, now people do the dance with um, heads down on the towel. We won't lift the head, okay? We'll just focus on the muscles in the upper back and work at the arms, okay? So for the dance, the legs are together. Keep them connected. Give them a little squeeze, okay? Knees and ankles should be together. 
Now, squeeze your bum a little bit and then put the belt on. So draw the abdominals in. Feel like you're lifting the navel out of the mat as you set yourself up in this position. The arms and the shoulders are nice and relaxed. Okay, so keep that head down. Let's just work the arms and the upper back. So we're going to take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you're going to float the arms, really try and touch the toes. Now hold that position for a breath in. And then breathing out, you relax the arms back down. Then we do it again. So you breathe out, you float, reach the arms, try and touch the toe, hold it for a breath in. And then breathing out, you lower back down. And then off we go again. Now, you want the legs connected, so keep squeezing them together. Squeeze your bum, squeeze the knees and the feet. Don't relax the legs on this one. Keep them working the whole time. Here we go again, breathing out, float and reach with the arm. Hold it for a breath in. And then breathing out, you relax the arms back down. Here we go, Let's do a couple more. Breathing out, float and reach with the arms, hold it for a breath in. And then breathing out, we relax back down. Just one more time, keep those legs connected. Float and reach, hold it for a breath in. And then relax back down. Wonderful. Okay, bring the arms round into uh, your swan position. Okay. And we'll, have the, we'll separate the feet this time so the legs are relaxed, okay? But what I still want you to do, though, is squeeze your bum and keep the belt on, okay? Because by squeezing your bum, it sort of helps to lengthen out the lower back a little bit. It keeps the, um, the lumbar spine in more of a neutral position. It just helps a little bit, okay, if you squeeze your bum. Okay, now, with the arms in this position, we need to think about shoulder V. So I want you to draw the shoulder blades down, your back, a touch, engage those upper back muscles, keep the shoulders down. So this time we're going to keep the arms where they are and we're going to do a little head float. So we're going to take a breath in to prepare and as you breathe out, you're going to float the head and breastbone up off the mat just a little bit and then breathing in, we'll lower back down. And again, breathing out, float the head and breastbone. And then breathing in, we lower back down. Let's keep going and do a few more. Keep squeezing your butt, keep shoulder V engaged. The arms aren't doing anything. The arms are nice and relaxed. You're just working the muscles in the middle to the upper part of the back. That's where we're trying to focus on. When you float the head, make sure that you are still looking down at the mat. Don't be tempted to look up in front. Here we go. Should we do two more? Breathing out. Lift the head and breastbone, and then lower back down. Here we go, last one. Lift the head and breastbone, and lower. Keep the belt on, keep squeezing your bum, keep the shoulders down. We'll keep the head down on the towel this time. We're going to work um, the upper part of the body a little bit and the arms. We're going to float the arms and pull the elbows to the hips on this next one, okay? So the first thing I want you to do now is just hover the arms off the floor an inch or two. And then as you breathe out, you're going to draw both elbows down to the hips as much as you can. And then breathe in, take them back to the swan position and keep the arms hovering. Then we do it again. You breathe out and draw the elbows to the hips. And breathe in, you bring them back to your starting position. Breathing out, you draw the elbows to the hips, and then you take the arms back to the starting position. And again, breathing out, draw the elbows to the hips. That's it, wonderful. Here we go, one more time. Draw the elbows to the hips, and then release. Relax the arms back down. Wonderful. We'll do one more, shall we? One more. I think we'll move the towel away for this one. Well, we'll move the towel and we'll rest their head on the hands, okay? So what we're going to do is that little um, head float that we did a minute ago, we're going to do that, but we're going to add it with some legs this time. So I want you to bring your legs back together, okay? So keep the legs connected. So when I say keep them connected, I mean give them a little squeeze together, okay? So you've got your knees and ankles touching. Still squeeze your bum, make sure the belt is on. Just the fingertips overlapping because you want to keep the elbows nice and wide and then engage shoulder V again. Draw the shoulder blades down. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a double leg kick where we kick both legs up together nice and slowly. And then we follow that with a little head float. Okay. And then we'll just repeat a few times. Okay. 
Are we ready? Here we go. Nice and steady with the legs. So as you breathe out, you're going to kick the feet up. Nice and steady. Keep them up to your bum as close as you can. And then breathe in. You're going to lower the legs all the way back down. Now breathing out, you're going to float the head and breastbone up just a little bit. And then breathing in, you lower back down. Off we go again. Keep squeezing your bum the whole time. Because that will help to keep the hip bones down into the mat as well. And again, it's just helping you to stay in that neutral position when you're face down because it's harder to maintain neutral in this position that's it and then we do our little head float again wonderful okay so we've got the belt on you still got the shoulder being engaged we go again we breathe out we kick the feet up and then we breathe in to lower we breathe out to float the head and breathe in to lower off we go again with the legs, breathing out, kick the feet up and breathe into lower. Breathe out, float the head and press back and lower. Should we do it one more time? Here we go, breathing out, kick the feet up and then lower back down. One more little head float and lower. Fabulous. I think we need a release down. Should we come up in two or four so we can do our shell stretch? So bring yourselves up, sit yourselves back, reach those arms as far forward as you can. <clears throat> so you've got that nice stretch down the length of the spine. Wonderful. Okay, bring yourselves back up. We need to go back to sideline, don't we? Okay, so... Get your supports again. Let's set ourselves up. Make sure you're lying on the other side this time, okay? And then we'll come down. We'll set ourselves up just like we did before. Okay. And we've got the arms out in front. Shoulders are down. Knees are bent. Feet are in line with the spine. And again, when you put that belt on in this position... Feel like you've got that, um, that sense of lifting the, the waist out of the mat. And as you, as you put that belt on, it feels like you're lengthening out the top of the waist here. So you've got more space between the ribs, the lower ribs, and the top of the pelvis there. Okay, it's the feeling you're trying to get. Okay, are we ready? So we're going to start with that chalk circle again. So when you're ready, just breathing normally, we're going to send the arm up and overhead. You're going to circle it all the way around. You're going to bring the arms back together and then we'll go back in the opposite direction. So again, it's all about keeping that pelvis nice and still because we want to try and create a bit of rotation through the spine on this one. Okay, and we can only do that if we keep that pelvis nice and still. Off we go again. So follow the hand. Open out the shoulders. Bring the hand back together. And off we go again. So you can make that circle as big as you want to, as long as you don't force the arm around. Here we go. One more time. Circling get round. Arms come back together. Rest them together for a second. Check the set, make sure the belt's still on. This time we're going into that hand slide and straight into our arm opening. So we're going to take a breath in to prepare. And as you breathe out, we're going to slide that top hand forward as far as it will go. And then breathing in, the hands come back together. Breathing out, we're going to open out the arm, turn the head, follow the hand. When you can't go any further, hold it for a breath in. And then breathing out, the arms come back together. Breath into hold. And off we go again. Breathing out, we reach that top hand forwards again. Breathing in, the arms come back together. Breathing out, we open out the arm, turn the head, follow the hand, hold it out there for a breath in. And breathing out, the arms come back together. Wonderful. Off we go again. So just watch that, that working shoulder as well now on this next one, especially when you open out the arm. Keep the shoulder down really well, away from the ear. 
don't let it creep up. I want to keep that shoulder down. I want to keep the length in the neck. Here we go, one more time, breathing out. We reach that hand forward across the floor. And then we slide the hands back together. We breathe out, we open out the arm, turn the head, follow the hand, hold it for a breath in. And then breathing out, the arms come back together. Wonderful. Rest those arms there. Okay, so shoulders are still down nicely. Hopefully you've still got that belt on. So um, let's work the legs then. We're going to start off with that hip extension. So we're going to float the top leg up. You're going to straighten it out. So don't forget to check your one ankle, knee, hip and shoulder all in a nice straight line. So here we go. We're going to bring the knee into the chest as close as you can without having excessive movement through the center of the body. And then breathing out, you're going to straighten out the leg nice and controlled. We do it again. We breathe in. We bring the knee to the chest. Uh, breathe out, we straighten out the leg, that's it, and again, breathing in, the knee comes into the chest, breathing out, you straighten out the leg, wonderful, and again, bring the knee to the chest, and then straighten it out, wonderful, that's looking really good, fantastic, let's keep that going, nice straight leg, each time it goes out, remember, don't finish with the knee bends, that's it, Wonderful. Okay, we'll make this our last one. We'll bring the knee into the chest and then we'll take the leg out. I think we'll hold it out there. Can we hold it there at hip height? Can we do those little leg circles again? So little leg circles, nice and steady, keeping everything still through the center of the body as you do this one. That's it. Don't make the circles too big. Wonderful. And then we're going to change direction. We'll go back the other way. That's it. Wonderful. That's looking good. Hold that leg there. Let's bring it up into our rest position for a second. Wonderful. Release those muscles that have been working. Okay, so we're going to do our hip extension again, but we're going to add in the arm like we did before. Okay, so let's just bring the legs back together. Check the belt is on. Okay, I'm going to float my top arm up ready. I'm going to take that top leg out. So here we go. We're going to bring the knee to the chest. We're going to swing the arm down. That's it. And then as you breathe out, you straighten the leg. The arm comes back to its starting position. Breathe in. Knee to the chest. Breathe out. Straighten the leg. So swing the knee down as the knee comes in. And then the arm returns. Okay. Keeping as much stillness through the center of the body as you can on this one. Nice and controlled. That's it. Breathing out for length. And let's do two more. So the knee comes in. And we breathe out to lengthen. Last one. Knee comes in. Breathe out to lengthen. That's it. Wonderful. Okay. Bring that leg up into that rest position again. Rest it there for a second. So we've just got one more to do, haven't we, in side lying. We're going to do our leg lift and lower. And we've got the arm going as well, haven't we? So let's bring the legs back together. So let's put the arm out first. We'll take it up and overhead as far over as you can take it. Okay, put the top leg up, straighten it out, keep that belt on. Here we go. We're going to breathe out. We're going to do a lift and a lower. And again, breathe out, lift and a lower. That's it. Breathe out, lift and a lower. Wonderful. So again, nice straight leg. That's it. We've still got the belt on. Nice and supported through the center. Wonderful. Let's do two more. Here we go. Breathe out to left and lower. Last one. Left and lower. Arms come together. We'll bring that leg back into our rest position again. Wonderful. Feel those hips working this morning. Okay. Shall we just finish off with another little release? So we're going to bring the legs back together. Can we just roll onto our back? Okay. And we'll have a full body release to finish with, shall we? So we're going to straighten out both legs. The arms go overhead. We're going to have a nice stretch through the whole of the body. Wonderful. Then we can relax the arms down, bring the legs back in. And then when you're ready, you can roll onto your side. You can push yourself back up to sitting. <laughs>